Darling? Sounds boring. Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. Is something burdening you? It is done. The Devil's Fee. Something over there. The horns of a real war devil. Bet they were a pain to acquire. I welcome thee to the Devil's Fee, where every hellish curio is a... It's you. Your little scroot of a friend left this on my floor the last time you visited. I presume you have returned to re-engage my services. You forgot what we did? I find that hard to believe. But if you speak truth, perhaps I could... Jog that lazy memory of yours. You seek answers. Lord Mammon seeks coin. I will happily mediate. Make me an offer. It's free, eh? My, you have changed. Fine, just this once. You stand before Mammon's picklock, latchkeeper of the Nine Hells. My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. I break people into the Hells. That's my thing. I opened a portal for you and Lord Gortash. <laughs> My word, this is embarrassing. Perhaps I should have explained our terms better. You asked me to jog your memory. Jog I did. Our micro-pact is complete. Would you like to make another transaction? You are just no fun. Adjusting for inflation, the appreciable value of knowledge, Lord Mammon's tithes. Aha! Uh -huh. There we are. Then to piecemeal information we return. You wish for more knowledge? Make me an offer. Oh, yes. I should think that'll do deliciously. The two of you wanted to steal something from Mephistopheles. So I punched a portal into the Archdevil's dusty vaults. And then I... Oh, gosh. My fickle memory fails. If only something would jog it. I mean, I suppose that'll do. 
Stingy bastard. You rascals stole the crown of Carsus. Pissed off Mephistopheles to no end. I expect you'll pay the price for that one day. You also attracted the attention of another devil. Raphael. His house of hope is furnished with a great deal of treasures, many related to Carsus. But alas, he lacks the crown itself. He's rather ambitious. One can only wonder what he has planned for the crown. The answers to that can probably be found within his house. Then perhaps we should drop by and surprise Raphael. It'd make a nice change. So keen to return to the Hells. Well, I suppose it's warm this time of year. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Of course, such a task will require quite the substantial donation to Lord Mammon's coffers. Such a task would be tantamount to suicide. Do not even entertain it. put me in a difficult position, mortal. You are almost certain to fail. Almost. And so, there is a chance you might succeed. Fine. I'd like to be able to carry all of my precious stock without the need of a team of oxen. There are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Free passage, and you fetch them for me. Deal? Allow me to outline how this is going to work. First, you were never here. We never spoke. Second, you will perform the rites yourself. I want absolute deniability. Here's the grimoire and necessary components. Oh, take this key, too. It unlocks the ritual room upstairs. There's a blood circle already drawn. Don't ask whose blood. Along with the grimoire and components, Helsic hands you a note containing precise instructions for performing the ritual. Finally, you were never here. That is of utmost import to remember. Now be gone! Gain from the hells is not worth the risk of traveling there uninvited. What's on your mind? I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Soldier? Hell yes.
It's you. I never forget a face. Noble stalk is why the customers came. We were out in our arses soon enough without it. Too bad my worthless fella couldn't get one simple thing right in his life. <laughs> oh, sure. Cultists on the loose, a murderer hacking people to bits, and big metal freaks stomping hither, thither, and yon. Couldn't be more delighted. He's wrecking my head, as always. Makes himself useful with a broom from time to time, at least. It's Bone Cloaks. I'm Balin. Hello. Nice to meet you. We sell all sorts of ingredients and goods. I go on, Balin. Get on with it, then. Reach us here, I guess. What a view. You know, for all the sense of dread and horror seeping through this place, I really feel quite at home here. The house is excessive, overwrought, and ever so seedy. A perfect reflection of its owner. Gods, I can't believe I'm doing this. We're gonna get out of here, right? Get in, get the hammer, and go. Easy. We won't get trapped here. We won't get dragged deeper into a furnace. We won't. On the bright side, my engine finally feels normal, like it isn't about to explode. <sighs> I gotta admit, that's pretty nice. Let's find that hammer and get out of here before I get used to feeling like I might live. You came. Such a shame. Curiosity killed all the cats. It won't be so kind to you. As the woman speaks, you hear a distant rattle of chains, and she winces in pain. <sighs> the jailer will hear us. I shouldn't be talking to you. I must go. It's not kind to me. The figure flickers and starts to dim from view, but you sense she could be convinced to return.
The figure shimmers brightly. Your words seem to have piqued her curiosity. I hope so. But it is a faint hope. Just like me. I can't leave. I could only suffer. But I'm supposed to do that in silence. Everyone here hates me for what I am. I'm the thing that kills you and the only reason you're alive. Made by a promise and done by the truth. A handshake, a hug, the first beat of a newborn's heart. I am hope. What little is left of her. A guttering candle in a universe of night. Raphael's driven her mad. Poor soul. I'm not much of a friend to anyone anymore. But I could use a friend myself. Do you want a friend to guide you through this madhouse? I hear the jailer. It hears me. It'll call Raphael, make every question count. Make some of them count twice. You must ask of the Orphic Hammer. Without it, the Prince of the Comet and the Githyanki people remain forever chained. Discovered an ancient git prince in need of a savior? The Orphic Hammer is the perfect tool for breaking all infernal chains. Hope can help. The hammer is here in this house. It's... You hear a sound like the rattle of a chain and an agonizing scream in your head as hope flickers from view momentarily. Shh. Quiet. There it goes. Everyone here is mad. Even you, especially me. And that makes them dangerous, but it also makes them stupid. I'll make you seem as ruined as the rest of the people here. A simple glamour to make you a terrible wretch. <laughs> now whisper your questions, little wretch. But really quiet and very clever. Concentrate. Or past the debtors. Oh, the debtors. They won't like you. But I like you. I know I do. I think I do. I hope I do. I just need to ask one question and I'll know for sure. Can you save me? Please, 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 please. All right. You have to listen very, very, very closely. I will say this only once. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. But be careful when you take the hammer, the fire will come. And Raphael, you must run, 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 run. But don't forget me, please. Please, please. I don't want to burn. Not again. We won't. We'll get you out. I promise. The rattle of chains echoes louder from unseen places. And without a scream or a sigh, hope disappears. There's nothing 